chefs, you have under a minute left. Oh, it's going to be really, really, really tight. 30 seconds left. Get it on the plate. Time's up. Hands up. Utensils down. You will create an amuse bouche. An amuse bouche is something delicious that starts the meal off right. It's the perfect bite to get you wanting more. You'll have three vessels to choose from, a Chinese spoon, a ramekin, and a small plate. The winner of this challenge will receive immunity in the next elimination challenge. You have 30 minutes on the clock. Your quick fire starts now. There's literally not a thing fun about a quick fire. And if someone says there is, they're lying. Yeah! Quick fires have been my favorite part of being in the Top Chef kitchen. I've won two in a row, so bring it. David, what are you making? Pasta! It's my thing. I worked for Michael White, the Astera Marini. We were voted best pasta in New York City, and it's something I wanted to show off on Top Chef. All I gotta do is just make raviolis in 20 minutes. Brian, can I have like a half of that watermelon or can you use the thing? You are the man. What are you making? I'm doing um, a compressed watermelon. No, you're not. Are you? Why don't I just give you a watermelon? <laughs> I'm doing quick cure on halibut with like a salsa broth. I'm inspired by the flavors of summer. Growing up in the Latin home, you eat chips and salsa. We would always sip the juice from the bottom of the bowl. So I wanted to incorporate that into my bite. I've been placing in the middle, but I'm one of the better chefs here. I have to get it together and show what I can do. Change of plans. I'm not compressing the watermelon. Now I'm doing a grilled watermelon because I Someone gave you watermelon. Someone idea. <laughs> Shrimp and grits, hush puppy. I grew up eating catfish and hush puppies and grits for dinner. So that's kind of where this idea started, especially for a small bite. It's crunchy, it's salty, it's hot. This fits perfectly with this challenge. Eric, are you using West African flavors in your dish? I'm going to actually get out of my comfort zone a little bit. So I'm doing a curry corn bisque with crispy pancetta. This is one of the dishes that I made when I was trying to court my now wife. I don't think she really understood how serious of a chef I was. I remember her just being pleasantly surprised, and I think that's what locked her in. I hope that's what locked her in. <laughs> oh, this is going to be tasty, huh? Adrian, what are you doing there? We're going to do a little lamb tartare. I have a lot of experience building a muse bouche. I'm going for flavors that I know work together, clean, fresh, bright, that will look very delicate on the spoon. You know, being in California, along the coast, there's a lot of places to get great chowder, and it's kind of the first tasty thing that popped into my head. Originally, I wanted to make a crepe stuffed with like a mushroom duck cell, but I end up getting a ramekin, so I head in another direction. I'm gonna make a broth with a little bit of halibut, celery, onions, garlic, mushrooms. The most important thing about making a broth is really developing flavors, and it takes time, so I use a little bit less water, and I use a lot of sweet onions, which will help to get as much flavor out of it as is possible. Eight minutes. I'm not in a good place. I'd like to add some more seasonings to the hush puppy. I'd like to cook some more aromatics, but there's just not enough time. How's it looking? Horrible. Horrible? Not going to make it. As I'm making the raviolis, they're trying to pop as I'm tightening them. Since I've done well on quick fires, I think I got a little confident that I could maybe do more. I, I deserve this. This is a lesson learned. Five minutes. Oh, please stay. As soon as I roll that bell pepper ribbon, I know that it's a bigger bite than what it should be. It's not as delicate, and I'm worried about the balance. It's like, ugh. Get on the plate. Chefs, you have under a minute left. Oh, it's going to be really, really, really tight. 30 seconds left. Get it on the plate. Utensils down. Everyone with a Chinese spoon, bring your dishes forward. Very pretty. Let's start with Brian's dish. 
Today I made grilled watermelon mozzarella prosciutto with a white shoyu and lime vinaigrette. Thank you. Adrian? You have lamb tartare with bell pepper, harissa oil, and watermelon salad. What was the outside peppers? That's a bell pepper. Did you cook it or just... No, thin just sliced very thinly. Eric? What we have today is a curry corn bisque with a pancetta, chive, and mince uh, gremolata, and a little bit of caviar to top. The creaminess and also the herbaceousness from the gremolata really shines through when it has that perfect balance. Thank you. Eddie? I did a steak tartare with egg stracciatella, cetra caviar, and crispy potato. I like the texture of it a lot, and I thought it was well seasoned. That was really nice. Thank you. Next, we'd like to see the saucers. Kelsey, what did you make? I did a shrimp and grits hush puppy. What is in the puree? Onion, bell pepper, garlic, celery, tomato paste. OK. Mimi. It's my take on an agua chile with yuzu, dragon fruit, and avocado. So bright, so acidic, so flavorful. Thank you, chefs. David. We have a Brussels sprout and apple raviolini served with some harissa butter. It just seems just a little dry for me. I like a nice luscious sauce when I eat any pasta dish. Yeah. Justin. Fried chicken and champagne. Some apple, some fennel, some radish, chive in a champagne vinaigrette. I'm a little chilly for some heat. OK, the ramekins, you're up. Sarah, let's start with you. I did some pickled shrimp with sunchokes two ways and fresh cherries. I love sunchokes. They're so luscious and creamy and just so good. But the puree for me was really the highlight. Okay. All right, Pablo. I made uh, some grilled corn, miso yoli, cayenne pickled radishes over a shaved truffle. It's really interesting. I thought it was funny. I ate it like a little truffle taco. That was the idea. Brandon. So I made a base scallop chowder, pea broth, potatoes, leeks, and a seared base scallop. A little bit of parmesan. Very delicate. It's like spring in a little bowl. Thank you. Michelle? This is a halibut ceviche with compressed watermelon and salsa water. Everyone's loving that watermelon. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tasty. And I love the chili oil as well. Thank you. OK, you can go back to your station. Thank you. So ladies, how do you think our chefs did overall? I had some really good bites. I'm still salivating. They were so good. Well, let's get the bad news out of the way first. Adrian, we found the skin of the pepper really hard to eat, and the lamb was under season. I agree. David, I'm very excited when people make fresh pasta. For me, it was a little undercooked and wasn't tender. Kelsey, you gave us too big a portion. And it was very dry. I just don't think it was your best work. I agree. I'm moving on to the good news. Brandon, to have a perfect bite of chowder that was so herbaceous and light was beautiful. Thank you. Eric, having that curry and that corn and that sweetness, very well balanced. Well done. Yeah. Michelle, you. you could taste the thoughtfulness and the respect for the vegetables. And it complemented that halibut so beautifully. I appreciate it. Thank you. Obviously, there can only be one winner of this quick fire. Only one person gets immunity. Karen? The chef that really showed us who they were as a chef in one beautiful bite was... Michelle. 